today we're going to be checking out one of the greatest bass lines ever written, I Wish, which was originally played by Nathan Watts, Stevie Wonder, Songs of the Key of Life, 1976. I'm sure you have heard this before. The gag is, well, I've been playing this wrong for a long, long time, which is why I wanted to make this video about it. And you were like, oh, I've been playing it oh, wrong. Oh, for sure. I feel yeah. like I'm still playing it wrong, probably. It's kind of like a super simple bass line, in essence, right? It's just in the key of E flat. And then repeat, right? Yeah. But it's about that feel, right? But it's the feel that everybody, myself, everybody else gets wrong, <laughs> yeah. right? When Stevie comes in with all that other stuff in the keys, like in the intro. So it's kind of got the do da do da do da Yes, and all that swing is not coming from the bass. Even if you get the gaps right. So, what am I doing there that's wrong in? You're accenting. Uh, uh, see, Scott's putting the accent on the strong beat. But it isn't really that. It's not that, it's... It's so straight. It's really awkward to play that for me. But then if you keep playing that, the swing is coming from. In the production, what is that? It's hi-hat. It's, it's guitar. Hi -hat. Yeah, it's, it's keys. It, it's the right hand of the keys. Yeah. His right hand starts to fill in the swing. Yeah. I probably overswing it when really it's more just maybe and then occasionally occasionally check this out if you want the tab and notation for any because we're going to play the b section to this which is pretty cool as well yes. it's got some bass licks in it and this as well if you want the tab and notation click that link in the description it'll take you through to a page and you can download the pdf there as well so you can follow it along so here we go e flat minor right so e flat yeah g flat a flat, a flat, B, B flat, flat yeah. A flat, right? And is it worth saying that Nathan Watts tunes down a half step? Plays this in E? It is, yeah. And I think, you know, we could have tuned down for this, but when this comes up in a set list, typically you're not going to have time or, you know, you're not going to want to tune it down. So we thought, yeah. show it to you in E flat. So E flat, G flat, A flat, B flat, A flat. Now it's going to climb chromatically from C back up to the E flat. And then that note repeats, or that line rather, repeats just on the octave. So slowly. That's it. Okay, so uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time. But seriously, please, like, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. But yeah, that's it, it's, it's that easy. Fingering wise as well, just to put it out there. You know, for the most part, we're just using our index and the rock fingers. Yeah, right. Yeah, so. And then when it comes to the climb up, I'm just doing one, two, three, four, so. Yeah. And then. And also as well, something I've done in the past as well, just to put it out there as well, is. Just one finger. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. The reason why I've done that is because I'm left hand muting that. So I've got the, I'm not doing this. Right, I'm going. Yeah. Fingering aside, the main kind of thing to get down first is really square. Yes. Like square, every, there's like gaps between every single note. Yep. It's. Right. Short notes. Be able to play it and get those gaps in between and do it really squares, well, which I find incredibly hard. And then after that, you can start adding in some of these skips or the ghost notes. Yes. Right, to give it a little bit of that feel, but beware, just don't overuse them because it's really easy to, to you know, to do to this. Where you're skipping, where you're doing those ghost notes. Yeah, yeah, doing yeah. that thing, yeah. yeah. We were talking before this and like, where should you do it? Obviously yeah. it's up to you. The ghost note, right, going. 
Going down, when you're skipping down to uh, that lower third is the spot that I like to do it. Then not again until here, until that A flat, skipping down to the C. So there's really only two spots. Yeah. And then with a pick, you can, I feel like you can get away with more because it's a cleaner sound. It's a cleaner attack. So I'm playing E flat with a first finger, dead note with a first finger, next note with a second finger. Yeah. Yep. And it's swung. Yes, it is. It? Yeah, great. That's great. Yeah. Google. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and I actually do it slightly different. And what I'm doing is. I'm actually pulling off to a we to an A, which is not in the key at all, but in the in the heat of action. Ah, that's cool. That's cool. So I'm doing really slow. I hit that E flat and then I just pull off and then hit that F sharp there. Wow. And if it's slow, it sounds bizarre because you mm. hear that note. Yeah. But, but when it's, it's fast. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's, cool. it's like when you're playing walking bass lines, yeah. You know, people do that when they, they just pull that open string. And is it an upright thing? Yeah. Where yeah. you're pulling, so you're actually getting the note from a pull off from the left hand. Yeah. B section is cool. B section is cool. You mentioned earlier that the B section doesn't feel like it was written by a bass player. Right? Oh, yeah. And it, and it wasn't, right? Because it's Stevie. It's written by Stevie. Yeah. yeah. B section, yeah. Even though we sometimes would not get a thing, we were happy with the joy the day would bring. I'll do the chords, you do the, uh, the Great. bottom bit. Yeah? Slow it down a bit. And if yeah. it's up to speed, three, four. Yeah, and back into that bass line. And then there's this midsection as well that we want to do because it's Post like chorus. some serious juice on it. Check this out. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much happening there. And I'll press play, and then Ian's gonna play along. Uh, let me see if I can do it, yeah. <laughs> I might need it a couple times, we'll see. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. He did it in one take. So yeah, so take us through it. So, okay. Us, yeah, what's uh, going on? Boot up, right, at the top, yeah. And then, I love that. So we've got E flat, D flat, E flat, and then this walk from G flat, A to A flat to B flat. And the whole thing is over this. Yeah. E Three, flat seven. Four. That, where you're pulling off from D flat to C, getting up to that E flat. That See, that's my favorite bit. Oh, that felt great. Ooh, and you're doing that, I'm that doing cool that like again. pull off thing in there. Yeah. Oh, that feels great. Yeah. Do it again. Check it out. Um, it's, it's a weird note, right? <laughs> yeah. But you're not going to so hear it. Cool. You're going to hear this. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and then we get... <laughs> oh, are you bending? Is it something like that? I'm playing... I'm just like squiggling it. Like going... That thing. Those parts that we're showing you, you can almost sort of interchange them and, you know, make them your own kind of thing, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, if yeah. you're playing this, and then you want to play, like, all of that stuff is going to work, you know? Right? You can almost arrange this any way you want for your band, because that's what I've done, actually. <laughs> like, I've never played this yeah, yeah, legit yeah, yeah. like this. Uh, so, you know, again, I've been playing it wrong forever. Yeah, and you can get all of this stuff as well and, like, get down the shapes and stuff, you know, like that. You know, we're on the E flat, yeah. All of that. And then you can use that in different keys. You know, yeah. you can take it elsewhere and use it in different keys. Hey, we got to get into... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. cool. They are gnarly. That first one is so... If you want to try to get that to happen, um, the first one he does, that kind of thing. If I were playing this live, I would come up and play this, and then I would immediately target the thing that I have to do next. So if it's to go into the B section, for instance. As I'm squiggling, I'm looking where I need to go next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you don't want to go here ah, and then not know where you're going next. My eyes, as I'm in the squiggle, my eyes move to my next target note. And if you're wondering where the, Ian's getting these notes from as well, it's just any note really of the E minor pentatonic. E flat minor. E flat minor pentatonic. So, so yeah. like. Yeah. Ah. You know. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. They all kind of work, right? Yeah, they so, do. And you can. All of that, right? And the E flat minor pentatonic, super quick. It's just E flat. Oh, I'm just going to show you the position. Check it out. The blue scar, right? Yeah, wicked. Now you were going to talk about effects as well. Should we do it? Yeah, Just absolutely, it? absolutely. Like when I'm starting this in a band, I play with a pick. And I'm giving it that backbeat accent with a pick. You are. And I'm putting a slight octave up sound. I have a tiny bit of spring reverb on it as well, because when I started in a band, I want it to sound like a production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it yeah. to sound right away like Stevie's playing with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so that's, yeah. you know, in the beginning of the video when we're playing it together, you're playing it in regular position and I'm up. Um. I mean, I just want there to be two bass players on the gig when I'm yeah, doing yeah, it. You know? yeah, 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 exactly. I want someone yeah. else to be playing with me. So that's something you can ask your keyboard player to maybe double that with you if you don't already. But typically when this thing starts out on a gig, for me, it's just a bass by itself. And I don't know about you, dude, but it's hard for me to just do this. It feels so naked, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, this isn't swinging at all. Hey, if this video is bringing you any value whatsoever, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Let us know what you want to see. And also, if there are any other bass lines that you're getting wrong, that you think we're getting wrong, that everybody, the community is getting wrong, drop them in the comments below. I have been Scott Devine, this has been Ian Martin Allison, and if you want any of the tavern notation that we mentioned before, you can grab it from the link in the description. Other than that, take it easy, and we'll see you in the shed.